What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here, bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane and we're up against a pretty hard counter matchup, I'd say. In the uh, Cassidy, he took Flash and Teleport, is running Electrocute and Precision Secondary. This is this guy is Diamond 4 too this season, so he's pretty good. We're going to have to give him a lot of respect and play the lane accordingly. So Cassidy's pretty hard to go up against for Fizz, mainly because he has Magic Resist built into his kit, right? And then he has the Magic Resist Shield went off of his Q. And then he has just as, not, just as much, if not more, mobility once he hits level 6. So it's kind of a tough matchup, but we sh if we get a little jungle attention early, we might be able to get some kills onto him. I did take PTA today because I think it's really good to trade into him pre-6. So that'll be really good. Because after we get our level 3, we can just constantly Q auto W him. So right here, I don't want to step up to the wave because if he just Qs me, he Qs me for free. So I'm just going to let him do whatever he's going to do. And then I'm going to look to just E on top of all three of these minions. Let's see if we can't get it here. We're able to get it. We'll hit him with a little auto. That was a really good trade by him. He started his W. I didn't realize that. Or else I would have just started my uh, W as well. And just hit him with the auto W auto. But that's fine. Got a decent little trade on him considering. I'm fine with taking that trade right there. Because uh, I, I have lane pressure now. And now we have our W, so he can't step up. So he, we can actually force him off of the minions here. Ooh, wow. Bard put a little heal thing there for him. That's really cool. All right, so he'll probably look to Q focus here. That's fine. Not a huge deal. We have a pretty big wave here, too. To protect us from a gank. I'm actually going to come put my ward over here right now. So I'll know if he's coming or not. Fine with him poking me right there. Once I get my level 3, I'm going to look to trade with him a lot more. So he didn't have his magic shield, so he wouldn't be able to trade back into us. So we got a really, really good PTA trade on him right there. Nice. Not too bad. Let's see. Let's make sure we try and get this cannon here. And I don't want to get too crazy under his tower, but I do want to look to trade with him here. Nice. Got a Q auto on him. I couldn't stay for another, like, auto attack because I would have uh, taken a tower shot. But I got this guy pressured in really heavily right now. He's got 8 CS. We've got 17. Really, really good for us. Nice. Looks like they get first blood top lane. I'm just going to chill and let this wave kind of bounce out because I'm pretty far extended right here. I may actually just walk up here just in case if Echo's trying to contest this. Yeah, this guy should be dead here. Hit him with the Q auto W and the W flash. He should be dead here even through his... Uh, we should get one of these guys for sure. Ooh, we don't. Wow. That's really, really unlucky. I need him to help me shove the wave here. Ah, uh, he's just going to go there. That's really bad because now this wave's going to shove into me. Unless he gets a kill there. I don't think he will. Oh, wow, he does. All right, that's really good because now that's going to give us 10 seconds to shove this wave. And that's my main objective right now. Yeah, nice. Even Lee's going to help us. That's really, really good. All right, we got a bail. I'm just going to throw a ward right down here in the middle of the lane. All right, that's really, really good. We're up on him by about 13 CS. Didn't get the kill. I did use my flash and my teleport, but I honestly thought we'd be able to kill this guy even through his shield, but not the worst. So we'll just get a juicy little back here, grab that, and then an amp tome, and we're going to be really strong right here. Let's see. What did Cassidy got? He got a uh, health thing. They should finish this. This guy has no flash. That should be a free kill here. Nice. Really well played by the team. They did get the scuttle, but Echo pays for it with his life. So actually forcing that flash onto this guy wasn't that bad earlier because it allowed my Yasuo to pick up a kill. All right. In terms of the wave, this is going to eventually back uh, jump back out to us because there's, you I mean, look how many minions. He has more minions on his side of the map. But I don't want to fight with him right here, mainly because I have to, like, hard engage on him, right, under his tower. I don't want to go all the way under his tower to fight. I want this wave to bounce out to me, especially with him hitting the wave it's going to. I'll just sacrifice one or two minions if I have to. 
not too bad all right so we'll just let this push out and we have our jungler right here i see that as well so we'll just chill let this guy push us in maybe let him overextend for a gank so as soon as that goes down i want to look for a little trade onto him because he doesn't have the magic shield anymore i'm gonna put another point in my w i do see that someone just hit that thing so someone on the enemy team so i could expect like a bar coming through here or something yeah there it is they're probably just he's probably just here to give him the heal and help him shove this wave in all right so not too bad for us we'll just chill right here make sure we get the uh cs here might go for a little kill onto him he's level six so i actually have to back out if he wasn't level six we could have maybe potentially killed him there nice if he goes in on us i'll just eat it and then kill him even though he's level six we're winning these trades we should get it off of this minion and if he stays even without our flash up we may be able to kill him what i want to look to do is shove this wave in as fast as possible here all right let's see we're beating him in cs too so that's good and he has teleport so he should actually be hard crushing us in cs all right, I kind of want to look for a roam down here, but I have no mana. That's the only problem. So let me just... All right, I'm going to get a reset. If there was any fruit, I was going to stay. All right, we forced that wave under the tower. He missed a lot, actually. We're up on him by about 6 CS, which is pretty good. All right, let's get a control ward, another amp tome, and then just run it back to the lane. I have my alt and ignite up, so we could definitely look for a kill onto this Cassidy if Lee comes. Or if we can chip him down enough, we can look for a kill to him on him ourselves he does have this the catalyst that's a nice little power spike for him all right let's see we see this guy right here as well he's not level six he's probably gonna get it off of that camp all right let's see i got this wave shoving into me too i kind of want to look to come counter this uh gank that this echo is going to be coming down here i think our team might be toast i'm gonna come down because echo was definitely shadowing them right let's see I might be able to clean this up. Actually, do they know I'm here? They definitely know I'm here. I'm going to come in on this. Look for a Q fish onto her. And double E onto her. Ignite W her. And then just try to get out of here. Might be able to come back and uh, save this Lee here. Ah, uh, no, he's got red buff. I wouldn't feel confident in taking that. Maybe just get this plate and dip. I don't want to force anything here because this guy's going to be coming. So I'm just going to get a reset in here. Got a nice little kill. Grab my other component and get back to the mid lane here. All right, not too bad. I'm going to grab another control ward because they will probably take this out, right? Either the enemy jungler or the enemy bot lane. So that was good in terms of me, but I did let, miss out on a lot of CS. And this guy got a plate and, or actually almost two plates and a bunch of free farm, which is actually not the greatest. So that may not have been worth in the grand scheme of things. Because this guy's going to scale up super hard. I might be able to look for a trade onto this. I thought my Echo was, or my uh, Lee Sin was coming here. That is not too bad, though. We chunked him out pretty hard. I'm going to put my control ward right here and come try and bait a fight here off of this guy. I have my ult in 10, so I can maybe look for a fight with this Cassidy. I want to shove this wave in, though. I'm going to come help this guy, but Cassidy can get to this guy. I'm down with him baiting this. I have my alt, so. All right, we're going to come dive her. That's fine with me. Ooh, I didn't get over here. This should be a free kill, though. Oh, especially since he just pulled her. Look for a fish onto her there. Oh, she actually almost flashed into it. We might not be able to get her here. Nice. Got an assist on that. I don't think I'll have to flash here. All right, I got to get a reset. This Cassidy is getting a lot of pressure here mid. Just because I'm roaming and making things happen for my team. 
All right, let's grab that health belt, another control ward, and then just run it back to the lane. I would like to be pressuring this Cassidy in a lot more, but he's just playing so far back until I leave, right? But that's all good. At least he's not, like, roaming around like we are. We're, like, roaming around making plays off with our team here. I want to make a play on him, though, because he has no mana. I just don't have any mana myself. Or not mana, but, like, resources, right? I don't have my ult to finish him. It's all good. We're winning pretty much everywhere else on the map. And I'm doing a lot for my team too, right? He may have TP up. He may just TP right back to this wave. Because it's been a while since he used it, right? Alright, let's just try and wave clear this as fast as possible. Because I want to try and go help my team bot lane. Because if this guy's going to just shove me in, right? And then just, you know I mean, try and get plates or whatever. Alright, he TP'd up there then. Had to have. I'm going to come and try to force a play down here. I'm going to wait right here until I get my alt up, though. Oh, we can just force this onto her. She's just dead here. Hit her with the PTA proc and finish her off. Nice. We got a kill. Yasuo didn't get the kill himself, but... I'm not sure what he's saying. I tried to tank for him. I, I literally eat onto her. Alright, I don't think I can finish that. Maybe if Yumi was with me and ulted them there. But I'm just got to run back to mid lane here. Because I am going to miss a bunch of CS. We have a lot of leads, but we're not actually getting objectives. Quite the contrary, actually. This guy's pushing down my... He got our red buff? Or the enemy... their red buff? I'm not sure. I'm just going to ignite him and go all in him here. Um, I don't think we can finish. I really needed Lee to, to actually, like, hit that. And commit. I don't have a lot of mana to go for that fight there. That was pretty bad. I flashed because I thought we'd be able to kill this guy. That should be a kill right here if he lands this. Well, I might be dead here. Mm. I really need Lee to land some of these hits. He's very strong, but he's... <laughs> I don't know why he's pinging me. I, I literally hit everything on that cast, and I'm doing all the damage. I might just... Uh... He needs to stop fighting him because this Cassidy is going to come and kill him. I'm coming to this, but I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Our team is collapsed right now. Okay, they killed the Cassidy, and that's good. Might just mute this guy, though. I can play off of just his pings. I'm coming here. Nice. He hopped right over onto the Yasuo. We should be able to get this pretty for free. I have my ult, so... If they try to come down here, I can kill him. I'm going to come down here with this Yasuo because he's getting a little skippy here. Look for a max range fish onto him here. And then I'm going for her, really. This is my main objective. I got the slow here on one of them. I got pretty much everything there. I was about to say, I hit him with the fish and I... Oh, it doesn't get her. We should be able to get her, though, if she stays. I'm a little worried about the cast in him, though. Because he's not showing anywhere on the map. Yeah, we got a bail here. Pretty shabby dive by the, uh, the Yasuo and the Lee, if we're being honest. I landed the fish onto the bard, and then I went got the flash out of What's-Her-Face, too. Out of the Misfortune. This guy's about 30 CS up on me. Even though he's only 1 and 2, he's pretty far ahead of me in all honesty. But we got a lot of uh, KP for our team here. I don't have a lot of potions, so I don't want to look to fight this guy unless I have my Lee sent around. He's going to let me get this blue buff. That'd be pretty big. Hit him with a little thank you. I'm going to come up here for this too. Help this uh, Mordekaiser here. 
Ooh, they actually are probably just gonna end up taking this, but that's fine. Whatever. I'll let them take that and we'll trade it for this. See if they'll, uh... We might be able to make a play on this guy. He's got a full mana, so I doubt we'll be able to actually secure a kill onto him. Hit him with the fish here, and then ignite him. Yeah, there we go. I didn't really leave that guy much room to, to um, misplay, right, to get me. So what I did is I Q auto W'd him. He used his initial R to jump away. Then I proto belted at him, hit him with a couple more, and then I fished him point blank, and then hopped on my E. And then with, uh, I'm going to come down here to this. Come down to my team right here. Lee may just keep shoving that, which wouldn't be a terrible decision, but I'm coming here to this. We should have her. She has no flash. And then we can kill this guy too, probably. Ooh, I gotta get away from that. Nice. I'm healing up from red buff too, so I can just keep playing this a little slow here. Really well played by my whole team. My whole team just like smurfed on the enemy team right there. Yeah, we got her flashed earlier, so that paid off for us right here. Ended up being able to eat right onto the top of her face with really no problems at all. All right, let's grab this. Cast it and may clean up there. No, no, he's dead for sure. Their whole enemy team's dead. This is crazy too, because this guy's a diamond player, this guy's a diamond player, and I think someone else on the enemy team. So they have three diamond tier players. And we're doing really, really well into the counter matchup. This guy is level 7 on Cassidy too. It's not like he just randomly plays uh, Cassidy. He's got like 20 games at 60% win rate. So he knows how to play Cassidy too. All of our early roams are really paying off. He did see us, is like outsee us and the shit out of us, right? But see if I can't come over here and make something else happen too. This guy might run right into my ult. That's really good for me. He doesn't have his ult. He might even be dead. Yeah, really nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good job by the Lee. Lee follows him. I'm going to try and just come over here and help Lee, but I think he's toast. We're getting a TP out of her right here. I'm just going to sit right here. Ooh, actually, no, I'm not. I got a fly. I can't help her there. I can't. Lee Sin just got super, super far extended. I'll tell her my bad after I get this cannon minion. I can't fight that right there. I'm down with it. I'm gonna get the slow on this guy and then kill him. I can't kill him, but where did I really go? She flash? A little unlucky, but if she flashed, that was my flash for her. So all in all, not terrible. I'm not sure who they're asking for attention here. We could kill this guy. Eh, we got a dragon up soon. I don't want to get too crazy. I'm a little worried about this guy. I don't really have anybody around me, and everyone on their team's missing. I have a feeling this bard is just shadowing me, honestly. So I'll just take it real, real uh, slow and careful here. I may have to flash for this guy right here. Ah, uh, that was a really, really bad misplay by my part. I was just half health there. I shouldn't even have been up that far, honestly. But I got his flash. That was my first death. That was just a very, very bad misplay by me. I had a feeling this bar was here. They should get misfortune for that, though. I'm not too, too bent out of shape about that death. That was definitely my fault. I kind of was thinking in my mind, wow, I'm kind of, I may be killable here. I should have just backed off and reset. If Lee Sin survives this, that's going to be pretty insane. They should be able to kill him. He has no flash. Really, really good by my team here. I was about to say, honestly, Yasuo might kill all of them too. I'd like to take this dragon, but I really don't think I could take that dragon by myself. If I had, like, gun, the Gunblade build, I think I could. Let me just try to come up here and shadow this guy. I'm going to come and try to help them here. Q off of this. Look for a double E proto belt onto this guy. The team killed him before I could get there. All right, let's just uh, run straight over to this infernal here. Or not this infernal, but this uh, mountain dragon. If we get this dragon, that'll be pretty big. Because right now we have one. Ooh. Bard saying GG in all chat. I will agree with them. It is looking like a pretty, pretty uh, wrapped up game here. 
But they got the Cassid, and, and if he gets to level 16, he could be a beast. Actually, Yasuo might be inting right here. I'm going to come and try to help him. Just going to double E so I can get to him. And then fish in that general direction. Ignite him. Nice. We should have that too. Really, really nice. He did get a shutdown on the Yasuo, though, which is bad. I tried to save him with the max range fish. Nice. There's the uh, there's a forfeit. Honestly, I thought after that shutdown, they'd keep going. But there it is. There's the uh, Fizz mid versus Cassidy. Diamond tier Cassidy at that. We'll take you to the after action after this, boys. All right, guys, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Cassidy in mid. So starting from me, I'm sitting at gold four. We're at about 60 LP. I haven't played much ranked um, in a while, but I do plan on getting back into it soon. I've had some uh, some issues in my personal life with my, my grandmother, so I'm taking a lot of time just uh, spending some time with her and and uh, soaking up as much you mean time as I can. Um, our jungler was sitting at gold one. We had a platinum four in the top lane, a diamond four ADC in the Yasuo, and a level 198 uh, Yumi. And this Yumi was really good, so I'm sure that she just hasn't played ranked this season. So starting from the enemy top, the enemy top laner was Platinum 3. The enemy jungler was sitting at Diamond 4. The uh, Cassidy we were going up against in lane was Diamond 4 as well. The Misfortune was Diamond 3, and then they had a level 138 Bard. So yeah, overall the game felt really, really solid. Um, very good laning phase against the Cassidy, in my, my opinion. We didn't really like 1v1 lane him but we definitely had kill pressure multiple times if I, I like i misplayed right there were a couple times where i could have killed him um in lane if i would have played slightly better or just went for different targets right um but the laning was really well we didn't give him any early kills or like the um uh, let him push us in and, and give his jungler pressure right i kept him pushed in constantly i was trading with him keeping him low forced his teleport really early um and then i just worked off of my jungler my jungler shout out to my whole team honestly in general um every every single person on my team played fantastically like you could just see off of our damage numbers there wasn't anyone that like got carried right every single one of us pumped out you know and it, almost an equal amount of damage pretty crazy but my jungler was making things happen. He came a couple times. Got a, we had a couple good skirmishes, 2v2. I think we got Echo's flash early. or We got Cassidy's flash in, in the 1v1 when I almost killed him. And then we got um, Echo's flash whenever we caught Echo slipping, and I ignited him. But then after that, I just basically made sure to roam either bot or top lane and make plays happen with my team because I can't really like post six. You can't really fight the Cassid in one V one, especially someone who knows how to use Cassid and right? Like this guy. And I, like I said, I looked him up. He plays Cassid and he had like 80,000 mastery on Cassid. And so it's not like he's a Cassid and noob, right? But, um, like post six, I find it's just useless. Like trying to sit in your lane as fizz. So what I did is, um, as you'll, you saw is I basically just roam perma roamed, um, saw that my team was strong pretty much everywhere else on the map, right? My Yasuo was really strong. They were making plays bot lane. My Mordekaiser was very strong, so I went up top lane at one point, and I made sure to just basically stick around my jungler, too, because he was skirmishing a lot. Um, yeah, mid and late game felt really strong. My team took all the objectives. Uh, it was a really, really clean game, honestly. We just And as you saw, we kind of broke the enemy, and which is crazy because, like I said, they had almost a full you know, three-fifths of a diamond tier team and we were sitting with you I mean platinum and gold so it's just, that's a pretty feels good man and uh yeah the echo is a really strong pick in the jungle once i saw this in champ select i was a little worried about it because i've just seen it do so well but this like i said i gotta give a shout out to this guy this uh this freaking lisa and he he manhandled him made him his little bitch but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video drop a like if you haven't yet sub to the channel it really does help and we'd love to have you here if you want to see anything in the future in specific let me know in the comment section below all right hope to see you guys on the next video